Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and I want to do a very quick tutorial on how to install and configure Starflight, well, specifically Starflight 1, from goodoldgames.com. Now, uh, you can actually, you can get Starflight 1 for free, but if you buy it from COG, it comes with a lot of, um, like, pre it comes with a pre-configured DOSBox configuration. It's just a lot easier to use, and it comes with a few other goodies that you'll need. So, um, you know, and plus, like, you get the second game, and, uh, it's only like five ninety nine. Honestly, it's it's pocket change to get something that you know is pre configured to run on Windows Seven. So um, anyway, just head over to goodoldgames.com and uh, make sure you make an account, and then you click the uh, the buy button, go through all that, and uh, your list of games is going to show up under the My Games section, and just click on Starflight, and we're going to go ahead and ins download the installer. And while you're at it, go ahead and download the manual and the star codes. And I'll show you what those do in a minute. Um, you'll definitely need the star codes to get out of the map, and um, we'll go over that in the game. I plan on doing a, uh, a very brief, like, let's play tutorial on the game. So I'll show you that. So let's see. Go ahead and, oh, oh that's not what I wanted. All right. We'll give it a few more seconds here. Internet's uh, not the not the fastest, but um, this whole thing started with um, I want to do a uh, my birthday's coming up, and I want to do a special uh, let's play series showcasing uh, a game that came out the year I was born, and I was born 1986, and I was looking through a huge list of games, and Starflight caught my attention. Um, if I remember from my research, it was the best-selling game, uh, PC game in uh, 1986. So I was like, oh, cool, let me go take a look at it. And I initially had some trouble configuring the game. So I want to do a quick tutorial so other people can see how the game's uh, done. So let's just go ahead and install it. Now this game will need administrative rights to install. which uh, you should be running on a uh, um, a, a non-administrator account. But uh, here we go. go ahead. It goes ahead and puts uh, Starflight 1 and 2 on your desktop. Now, first thing you want to do, right-click, go to Properties, Compatibility, is you'll want to run it in Administrator, uh, run this program as an administrator. Otherwise, it won't work. And then uh, if you go to All Programs, COG, Starflight, uh, we want to go down to Tools. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and get this. This is um, this is the Star Code, Starflight code generator you're going to use to get out of star, your Star Dock. So uh, basically, what's going to happen is when you leave the Star Port, it's going to ask you to ask you uh, to input a code using like these three keywords, and this automatically generates it. The original game manual came with a wheel that you would just turn, and it would give you the codes. But this is a digital version, so you want to you want to go ahead and have that open. And uh, let's see, Starflight One. Go ahead and go into graphic mode setup. And of course, this requires administrator rights. Um, go ahead and uncheck full screen. You'll want to play the game in window mode just because you're going to be referencing your um, star codes. And also, if you want to have the manual open too, the manual has a list of um, the values of all the minerals in the game. So that's always a useful thing to have as a reference. Or you could just print it off either way. But uh, go ahead and uh, check off keep aspect ratio. Um, oh. And if you want to record this, like using Fraps, um, go ahead and choose OpenGL as your graphics mode. Uh, keep aspect ratio. Um, as far as resolutions go, it's whatever you feel comfortable running it at. Um, I usually don't have my desktop running at a 1280 by 720. I did this to um, for... Um, uploading this to YouTube, but uh, I normally have the game, honestly, I normally have the game running at uh, um, like 800 by 600 or uh, actually probably 
1024 by 768 just because you know you get a, a nice big desktop or a nice big uh, window real estate and you can um, you know configure stuff but it's totally up to you um, how you set that up and go ahead and click save settings now the game probably won't run the first time you'll get an error saying that uh, um, it tried to load a game in progress and it didn't uh, it didn't work or couldn't load it so for that go down in the tools under Starflight 1 and you want to do reset and start the game what this does is it wipes the save file and it starts the game up fresh because for some reason when they package this uh, the game is looking for a save file and it's not seeing that save file so if you just do re uh, reset and start the game it'll start it up Oh, and we just went full screen. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, if you're asked to, uh, you're going to be asked to select a video mode. So just hit five. That's uh, EGA, and put your space bar. Whoa! It's a loud little game. And uh, whenever you, whenever you uh, exit the game, hit escape. Make sure you select uh, save game, because if you choose number nine, uh, you're going to get that error. And Really, that's about it. That's the uh, gist of getting the game installed and configured to run on Windows 7. Uh, the same should be true for Windows XP. I I don't even know if this game will run on Mac, so I, I have no idea about Mac, so you're on your own there. But if you're using Windows 7, which you should be, um, it's this is how you do it. So uh, if you uh, like this tutorial please click the like button if you want to see more videos like this, um, especially my um, when I do my Let's Play. Just uh, subscribe to my channel. And, of course, thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, when you start the game using Reset and Start the Game, uh, it'll default to full screen. So if you want to just go ahead and just exit out of the game, when you start, when you use, when you launch Starflight again using the uh, desktop icon, um, it'll go into a window so just in case some people were wondering about that so yeah anyway thank you for watching and uh hope you have a good day and enjoy the game